Hello, my name is Chloe from Tiny Teaching Shack, and today I want to show you how you can set up and manage your class most effectively with Boom Learning. First, to set up a new class, you have to click Classes at the top of the page, then click New Classroom down here. You can easily change your username and password. For example, I'll change my username to Tiny Teaching Shack and password to ABCD. So how do you add your students? You can add just one student by clicking Add One Student here. Here you can type your student's name and the password. To add multiple students at once, click Add Many Students and type all the students' names and divide them with commas. You can set a default password for now, but you can also set a different password for each student. Here, if you click a student's name, you can change their username and password. So how do you assign the same deck to everyone? To assign the same deck to everyone, click Assignments here and assign a deck to everyone. For example, if I want everyone to work on conjunctions, I'll click here. Now everyone will have that deck assigned to them when they sign in. How can you differentiate learning with Boom Learning? If you want to individualize learning, you can click Assign under each student's name and assign a specific deck depending on your student's need. For example, Glenn needs more practice on commas, so I'm going to assign the deck on commas to Glenn. However, Peter needs more practice on capitalization, so I'll assign this deck to him. As you can see, differentiating learning is very easy with Boom Learning. How can you monitor your students' progress? To monitor your students' progress, you can go to your classroom and click on the student you want to check. For example, I'll choose Glenn again. If you click Reports, it'll show you all the decks he was assigned to. I want to check how he did on commas, so I'll click on that deck. Here you can see Glenn's accuracy and rate in completing this deck. He got 75% overall, so let's check what he needs to improve on. The green bars are the correct answers, and obviously the reds are the wrong answers. So let's check on the wrong answers first. This deck focuses on using commas in dates and in a series, and it seems like he got a wrong answer when using a comma and a date. It looks like he did pretty well on the other ones. Let's check another one. It seems like he again got a wrong answer when using a comma and a date. With this report, you can see that Glenn needs to work on using commas and dates correctly. Down here, you can check how long it took for your student to complete each question. You can click Reports and choose a deck to see how all of your students did. This is a sample class, so you can only see Glenn's. So how do your students sign in? When you add your students, you can assign a username and password for each student. For example, let's set Glenn's username as Hello Glenn and password as Hello. Let me log out and show you what your students will see when they log in. On the Boom Learning sign-in page, your students will click Student Sign-in. Earlier, we set Glenn's username and password, so let's use his account as an example. Type his username, Hello Glenn, and password, Hello. When he signs in, he'll see the decks that you assigned to him. All he has to do is click on the deck he wants to do or needs to work on and submit the answers. Now let's say that he couldn't complete the whole deck in one sitting. He can click the back button in the top left corner to go back to his page. Here, Glenn can go back and complete the unfinished deck. The students can see that the incomplete decks don't have a check mark. I hope this video helped you better understand how to set up and manage your classroom on Boom Learning. Once you try it, I am sure that you'll get totally hooked and I guarantee your students will be asking for more.